What is up you guys? Welcome back to the channel coming at you with yet again another perfume experience and for today continuing with the artisanal sampler theme and none other than Ansar Oud. Yes, I've got way too many of these so you guys hang in there but I digress for today's Ansar Oud sampler we have old Hind Pure Perfume and I've got quite a bit in here more than a smidge so I'm pretty stoked about that and uh, this one is really a take on traditional Indian utters that are typically composed of oud, musk and sandal or santal for those of you that are into the Parisian style of perfumery and uh, what we're gonna do is you guys we're gonna get into the musing and the notes of the Ansar Oud website this one is succinct and brief so it won't be painful for you guys but also give you an idea of the vibe of what's going on in here then we're gonna go ahead and do the perfume experience okay now it is late at night as of the time of this recording, so no cafe for me. However, it is tradition on this channel that you grab your cup of coffee or your favorite beverage and sit down, relax, sip and enjoy as you muse or amuse over my gorgeous and lovely content, okay? So if you'd like to go ahead and grab your coffee, pause. I'll be right here when you come back click play and I'll still be right here okay so let's get started so this one by the way is sold out so you can't buy it again as a matter of fact on the Ansar, uh, on the Ansar Oud website is under the archived section and I guess it did sell out during the Boxing Day Black Friday sales because it's been there for a pretty long time and I personally didn't pull the trigger on it, but um, it's one of those that are very traditional in its formulation. So here we go. So this is the most traditional composition. Oud, musk, sandalwood. Like they don't make them anymore. Imagine the primal earthy air, the wild spice, punch of old school Indian oud, varnished with the cannabis-like sweetness of finguric and thyme and polished by the rich buttery cream aroma of vintage Missouri santalum. A rare distillation of kokojan oud packs all the old world Indian muscle without any cloying fermentation notes. This is our first oud of its kind and was distilled exclusively to compose this perfume kind of regret now not, not buying it after reading this okay you want to easily track down oud of the same class from this remote jungle oozing with wild chamomile and pure saffron all your resin steeped in miso granules from the 70s steeped in Kashmiri musk there's something about strong heavily spiced up Indian oud that's matured long enough and then left to be tamed by the dry spice aroma of sandalwood that makes you believe these two are aromatic soulmates. Turned into a spray perfume doused in spices that bite and pepper the fragrance with zest, Old Hind is a soulful fragrance layer thick. For an artisanal perfume rendition of our classic Indian utter, get a whiff of this blast of delicious spice, heavy santal soaked perfume that will transport you to the course of the Maharajas. Okay, and this is pretty much it for the musing and the notes, really. So what you're looking at here is Kashmiri musk, 70s Misur sandal, and Kokojan oud, which is Indian, okay? So, we're gonna proceed ahead with the perfume experience. However, I want you to pay attention to this liquid. So this is pure perfume. 
and if you can tell the liquid is fairly yellowish orangish more leaning toward the yellow okay this is old hind pure perfume by ansar oud and old has an e after it so i guess it can be pronounced oldie but here we go i'm gonna be careful again with these just because i would like to preserve them for as long as i can whoa okay Okay, wow, that's, that is something, you guys. Whoa. Yeah, so, again, off of the top, all right, and that's smelling both from the cap and the vial. The oud has an antiseptic quality to it. Now it's very subtle, not like some of the other samplers of straight up oud, obviously because this isn't just oud, but you do definitely get that antiseptic quality in here. You certainly smell the finguric, okay? I'll tell you that much. Now I grew up eating finguric. I've tasted finguric in food. I know what it tastes like. So it's not just the seed, but finguric leaves too. And man, this is finguric heavy, okay? Now, you do get the musk in here, but it's very subtle. And it adds this warm, slightly animalic touch, spicy animalic. And there's a little bit of a, almost kind of a urinal facet it's very subtle it's not strong but it is there and i'm gonna say that's more of the function of finguric more than the musk perhaps it does enhance the animalic of the musk the reason i say that is because if you've ever had finguric it generally speaking comes out with your sweat or when you do pee and it definitely has a distinct odor you will not miss it You can pick definitely on the sundial here. It's very relaxing, very soothing, very warm. You get those creamy facets without me even rubbing it on. That's what I'm picking on. There is some spices in here other than finguric. But it's a bit tough to pick on what they are the other thing is that this does have an earthy quality to it but it's very subtle it doesn't have this strong forest black soil scent to it, it just has a nice airy forest green facet to it Definitely very antiseptic on the opening. Finguric. The musk is there. The santal or sandal is there. There's also something that smells a bit sugary, almost sweet in here. I can't quite put my finger on it, but there's something kind of like caramel sweet you know when you take sugar and over the stove you turn it into caramel just that stage when it starts caramelizing before it fully becomes caramel something like that is here it's like a re resinous pre-caramel almost I'm gonna say the finguric here, just because I mentioned it earlier, does have a bit of a sweaty facet. It's very subtle, and maybe to me it comes across that way, just because I know what it smells like when I sweat it out, when I have it in food. So, yeah. Super nice, super nice. 
All right. So this one is, as we've read in the musing, is basically an imitation of the old traditional Indian otter of oud, misur, and musk. And this is a pure perfume version. And again, in terms of what are you gonna do with this? Again, this isn't really something you're gonna wear for the masses, okay? This is something that you're gonna wear for yourself. It's something that you're gonna wear during your leisure time, your relaxation time, meditating, praying, going out for a walk in nature, anything that really helps you sort of relax. Actually, I can even see you wearing this while you're golfing, okay? Whatever it is that you do for relaxing and meditating and taking it easy and chilling, you know, and recharging, this is the kind of perfume to put on, all right? This isn't the kind of perfume that I'm gonna say you want to wear in public in large quantities, and here's why. The musk in here by no means is offensive, okay? The animalic tone is very subtle. It is very easy going and it really does bring the oud and the sandal wood together. However, that finguric, my guy, <laughs> even as I close the little vial right now, it is wafting towards my face. So if you've had finguric before, it does have a sweaty facet to it. So with this one, you're gonna have to take it easy with the swipes given how potent I find personally the finguric here is okay now is it overly offensive no not at all okay the musk isn't the culprit the santal or sandal isn't the culprit the oud even here is super clean it's very antiseptic actually at the opening uh, but the finguric is a bit eh, you know so you need to be careful with the quantity of this you put on, all right? Especially in public, if you don't wanna come across as somebody who has a sweaty quality to them, okay? Now, in terms of performance, again, I haven't tried it on my skin right now, and just going on by overall and SAR, I'm gonna say that this will perform actually fairly well as a skin scent. And again, usually when I say skin scent, I'm gauging it by my own skin. I know that my skin eats up perfumes and oils very hard. So typically speaking, I need some beef smoke perfumes that will last long to perform on my skin. However, I know for a fact, having had a few on SARS, that this one is gonna be a skin scent. Now, even though I just said earlier that the scent is wafting off of the bottle rising towards me now, the, off of the little vial, this is just basically because I aired it out and I haven't opened it in, in a while. However, I know for a fact on my skin, that's not gonna be the case. So in terms of projection, trail and silage, if your skin chemistry is like mine, just soaks up anything you put on it, then this is gonna be a skin scent, okay? It won't be beast mode, it's just gonna be a hitch or a little bit just under strong, okay? In terms of performance. In terms of what you want to wear with this, honestly, again, going back to the theme and context of relaxation, meditating, praying, chilling, taking it easy, wear something loose, wear something relaxing, wear something that you feel at home in and you don't feel too fussed or too rushed, okay? You don't want to wear this on formal or casual or an outing really, it's just not that kind of a scent, okay? In terms of seasonality and time of day, I'm gonna say that this is good across all four seasons. And here's why. Even though there is musk in here and there is sandal, which typically is associated with colder weather like fall and winter, the concentrations here aren't too high that they would merit use only for fall or winter. You can comfortably wear this in summer and spring too, just because the concentration here is fairly evened out and fairly subtle. Nothing is overpowering here between the oud, the musk, and the santal, or sandal. I keep saying santal today for some reason. So you're gonna be happy wearing it across all seasons. Now, 
again, going back to the point on sweaty facet in relation to Fingeric, be careful in summer with overdoing it. Again, because Fingeric does have this sweaty facet to it and just be careful with overdoing it, okay? As to time of day, it this is a very good scent for any time of the day, okay? You can wear it morning, afternoon, evening. It's very good in that way. It is very usable across every hour of the day. You're not gonna have an issue with that, all right? Now, in terms of who would appreciate this, think of you're on the younger side, okay? Meaning under 30, preferably under 40. <laughs> I don't really think you're gonna have an appreciation for this unless you're a frag head and in particular have a preference for old style Indian utter craftsmanship and perfumery, okay? This is very old school. It's a very simple formulation, but very complex at the same time. And I think to really appreciate this, you need to have a mature nose. You have to have experienced enough perfumes and utters to really understand this. Even right now, as I say this to you, I can't in full honesty that say that I have full appreciation for this just because I am on my own perfume journey. And this, even though I've been exposed to this kind of style of Indian perfumery in a young age, I, I'm still not quite there yet to fully appreciate this, okay? Now, with that said, don't let this stop you from getting your nose on it if you can. I mean, you can't get samples or bottles from Ansar anymore. So if you can get in the aftermarket, by all means do that. However, I would say that you need to have a mature and refined nose to appreciate this, okay? You need to know what you're getting into. You need to understand the interplay between the ingredients, their facets. But most importantly, you need to appreciate an old school style of perfumery and utter that's not very prominent nowadays anymore, okay? With that said, would I recommend Oldi Hind Pure Perfume by Ansar Oud? Yes, if you are into old style Indian utter, a mix of Oud, Musk, and Santal or Sandal, again, I, can't, I don't know why, okay. If you're into that, this is your jam. You're gonna love this and you're gonna thoroughly enjoy it, okay? And most likely for you, is gonna bring up some really good memories from back in the day when you were a kid around your family members that applied this on, okay? So this is that kind of a perfume. If you are into that, get your nose on it, get your wallet on it, cop it, you won't regret it, okay? And generally speaking, I find with Ansar's work, you rarely regret anything you get. All of his offerings are really, really good and super enjoyable. I know that everything I've obtained from him to date has been really good. And by the way, for any of the perfume experiences I make, I'm not sponsored by the brand, nor do I get paid to say anything. This is just my own experience with the brand, you guys, and I do thoroughly enjoy it. I'm not gonna put anything out here that I don't personally enjoy, and I do have some of these in my collection. You'll never see me make a video about them just because I don't really see the point to bash on a brand or a particular perfume that someone else might appreciate and enjoy. Just because I don't enjoy it or appreciate it doesn't mean it's a bad formulation or a bad perfume experience. So I only cover things here that I enjoy, okay? With that said, get on it. If you're into old Indian utters and perfumes, get on it, you won't regret it, you're gonna love it. With that said, I'm gonna cap it here today, you guys. As per usual, very much appreciate your time and attention, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.